When it comes to early season college football handicapping, it's always important when you have a heavy favorite that hasn't lost so far to assess the level of competition they were they played to get to that point and also their current opponent and the level of competition and how well that opponent did in those games. So uh, we have one of those situations in Saturday's matchup uh, between the Georgia Tech Yellow Jackets and the Louisville Cardinals, a game that will take place in Louisville, Kentucky. Um, and uh, before we get to that uh, analysis and free pick on that game, just a couple friendly notes here, folks. If you can kindly give me a like uh, as a token of your appreciation for the time, work, and effort I put into bringing you a quality free pick video each and every day, it would make me happy. It would make the folks over at Wager Talk TV happy. And, uh, you know, again, it's uh, just a small token of your appreciation. So be kind enough to hit that like button. And I definitely would appreciate it. And so would Wager Talk TV. Also, if you have not subscribed to our YouTube channel as of yet, I don't know why you wouldn't. It's 100% free. There's no strings attached. There's no hidden agenda. You won't be inundated with emails and texts because you subscribe for free to our YouTube channel. And you'll be privy to some of the best sports betting experts in all the world. And I know that sounds cliche when it comes to our business, but I say that with the utmost confidence from someone like myself who's been involved in this business publicly for over 20 years. Uh, great staff, great cast of characters in terms of sports betting experts at uh, Wager Talk. And I firmly believe with the utmost certainty uh, collectively uh, this group, including with myself and the other 34 great handicappers, are second to none anywhere in the world today. All right, let's get to the matter at hand, and that's the Georgia Tech at Louisville game, 3.30 p.m. Eastern time kickoff. On Saturday, Georgia Tech enters this game with a 3-1 and record, and Louisville um, just 2-0. and uh, Louisville's coming off a of bye week. Georgia Tech played uh, week zero, and they haven't had a bye as of yet thus the disparity in games played thus far. Uh, however, in the 2 and I'll start, let's really assess who Louisville has faced. Now, granted, they won both of those games handily. They covered both of those games easily, but they faced Austin P and Jacksonville State. First of all, Austin P is an F FCS team that is currently 0-3 right now, and they've been beaten by an average of 34.7 points per game. Jacksonville State is an FBS team. Uh, they play in the Sun Belt Conference. Uh, but after a nice year last season, Jacksonville State has got off to an 0-3 straight up in ATS start this year, losing by 22 points per game. So the level of competition uh, that Louisville has faced thus far has left a lot to be desired. And it's not a stretch to say that this is definitely, uh, in Georgia Tech, the best uh, team they have faced unequivocally so far. Uh, and here's the thing about Georgia Tech, and maybe not a lot of you out there realize that. They're coming off a nice season, a season to go, and they're off to a good start this year under current head coach Brent Key. Uh, but since 2022, the Georgia Tech Yellow Jackets have gone a perfect 8-0 against the spread and won seven of those eight games straight up as an underdog of 14 or less. Again, 8-0 against the spread since 2022 as an underdog of 14 or less. And the Yellow Jackets not only covered all eight of those games, they won seven of those eight contests straight up. As I alluded to, they're 3-1 and one so far on the year. Their lone loss coming at Syracuse, 31-28. to uh, Nothing to be ashamed of there. And uh, they haven't committed a turnover in their last two games. So uh, that's something else to keep in mind. And, uh, again, Louisville has helped themselves quite a bit in those two blowout wins by not committing a turnover in each of those contests as well. And that fits into a very profitable college football betting angle I have on this contest that uh, favors the underdog in this matchup. Anytime you have a college football road underdog, like Georgia Tech, that's coming off two consecutive games in which they did not commit a turnover. And they're facing an opponent like Louisville, 
who committed one or fewer turnovers in their previous game. Those college football road underdogs in that situation since 2020, they've gone 32 and 7 against the spread. That's good for 82.1%. And the average line in those 39 games, plus 9.5, eerily similar to what we have right now at 10.5. So this one, not only is it a strong betting angle, it makes a lot of sense and it fits within the point spread parameter of what the road dogs have been throughout those 39 contests in which they went 32 and 7 against the spread. I'm going to take Georgia Tech plus the 10 and a half on the road at Louisville on Saturday, September the 21st. Um, touch a little bit upon how well I've done in college football, folks. If you were with me last weekend, congratulations. 6 and 0 last weekend, Friday and Saturday in college football, 1 and 0 on Friday. 5-0 on Saturday, and that included a 5% top play winner on Baylor, minus 16.5 as they won by 28 over Air Force. In addition, my 5% top plays since February 4th of this year are now 26-11, and 11, good for a net profit of $6,950. Uh, college football, uh, not only the 6-0 and 0 last weekend, 19-9 and 9 over my last 28 dating back to last year, which is 68% run. And also, since September of 9th, September 9th, excuse me, of last season, uh, 71 and 48 with my college football picks, good for 60% and a net profit of $4,811. And last year at Wager Talk, I was the number two money earner in college football. So something to keep in mind, not only that, folks, since I joined the Sports Memo slash Wager Talk Network in 2021, I've owned the month of September. All my picks in all sports in the month of September since 2021, how about 136 and 97? That's a 58% uh, winning rate. And more importantly is the amount of money that I have made for my clients during that time. In the month of September since 2021, that 136 and 97 record has produced a net profit of $12,563. And right now, they're running a special offer for me at uh, Wager Talk. You can go and get that right at my personal link, wt.buzz rb. You'll see that link right below. $399 will take you right through the rest of the college football season, which includes uh, the postseason. Uh, bowl games, the college football playoffs, and the national championship game, just $3.99. And that offer stands until Sunday. So uh, he who hesitates loses, folks. Uh, you're not going to get it any cheaper than that uh, in the next few weeks. So I would take advantage of that offer, and I'll make you a lot of money over that course of time when it comes to college football. Now, if you like to play both NFL and college football, we have a nice special site-wide for not only myself, but every handicapper over at Wager Talk. NFL College Football Annual Season Combo Package, uh, which will take you through the champion, national championship game in college football and the Super Bowl. In the NFL, you can get $100 off any for any one of us right now at Wager Talk by simply using the promo code at, at checkout, using the promo code F ball 100. That's F ball 100. And uh, you'll get $100 off our college football NFL uh, annual package, taking you right through the national championship game in college football and the Super Bowl. Um, one last thing uh, the NBA starts in late October. So we're offering early season pricing, early bird offer right now. Uh, at Wager Talk for any one of us. Now, a lot of you who follow me on the free pick videos last year in the NBA were aware of the fact how well I did uh, in the NBA a season ago with my premium picks and my free picks. But my NBA annual package, uh, which will take you through the entirety of the regular season, right through the postseason, uh, $595 right now. When you really uh, stop to think and do the math, and how long a period of time that is, how many games that entails. Um, it, $5.95 is an awful cheap investment for me to make you a lot of money. So in any event, 
Until the next time, which I'll be back shortly with another college football free pick winner. Take care and God bless, folks.